All right, Sunday morning in Oshkosh. And it's nice and cool. The room was hot, but it's nice and cool outside. Low ceiling, a lot of clouds. Uh, possible rain today. So I'm dragging my feet a little bit. Uh, pilots who are coming in, they're probably going to be a little dif disappointed when they see the forecast here see what the weather's like here so I don't know if it's gonna be a little slower day than expected as far as incoming flights a little look at the university or part of the university and the clouds so anyway dragging my feet a little bit just kind of took a shower and been taking it easy in the room but I'm going to head over to Black Hawk Commons, which is where the buffet is served. There's a little drizzling right now even. Get some breakfast. <laughs> it's about 7 o'clock. There's some guys in line for the bus. And I'm just, yeah, with this drizzle and low clouds, I'm not super highly motivated to get over to the airport. Anyway, I'm going to grab some breakfast and we'll go from there. So I'm in the cafeteria. I met up with Phil again. He was waiting for the bus. He's one of the Australians that uh, I was in the van with yesterday from Outagami Airport. And he was going to catch the bus, and he thought I would be there too at 7. There was a short line. Normally, that line by 7 it goes around the corner, half around the block. But only a few people this morning with this weather and being a day before it officially starts. So, yeah, just had some eggs. Got a few things. I didn't want to take too long so Phil could go get some food. Here's a glimpse of the cafeteria. It's been, uh, I think it's been totally remodeled since my wife and I were here in 2015. So, as soon as Phil gets back, I didn't want to take too long, so leave him sitting here at the table without food. So, after he gets back, I'll get some drinks, or get a, get a drink, and, um, yeah, make my way over the airfield in a little bit. Chocolate milk, Mountain Dew. Winning combination. All right, had good breakfast. Um, we ran into Gary and Andrew. And they're still over there having breakfast. Phil went back to his room. I'm getting ready here. We're going to meet and head over. It's supposed to stop raining. Actually, it's not really raining right now. It's a little misty. It's going to clear up starting maybe midday. So it won't be a bad day, I think. Planes will start pouring in like mad as the weather starts to clear. And probably all day long, nonstop, a streamer planes coming into Oshkosh. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, here's another view out the window. That's a little bar right there where we had some dinner. And I was at a table with, I don't know, a couple Americans and like 10, eight Australians and Brits. That was fun. And uh, the town's a little, the streets run kind of funny around here, but I think roughly I'm facing south here. So the airport, I think, is that direction, pretty close to that direction, about two miles. So, I'm gonna get ready and uh, make sure I got some camera equipment and a tripod and meet Phil out by the bus and head to Whitman Regional Airport. Australia, 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 Australia. Where's the, uh, where's the guy you just met? Australia, 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 New, New Zealand right there. Anybody on the bus from America? I don't think so. America, it's just me. I'm the only one in Oshkosh from America. And, 
And this guy, this is his first time to Oshkosh. Not? No, 28, 29? 29th Air Venture. Amazing. He's only 21 years old, too, isn't he? 22. So I've only got 27 to go to catch up. But by then, you'll be at like your 50th one. So I'll never catch you. Well, he's 93 now, so you know, we're working on <laughs> All right, we got here on the bus, and we, uh, the Australians and I exchanged information. We're going to see each other around, maybe meet for lunch or something. Uh, and I'm coming in a different entrance than I did when my wife and I were here before. Uh, someone said you didn't need a wristband today because it doesn't start till tomorrow, but then another person said you do. So I'm going to make my way to a different admissions gate that I've never been to. Oh, there are those guys right there, the Aussies. So I want to make my way down to the end of runway 27 to try to get some shots straight down the runway of planes coming in. There's a million planes here, and those guys are probably not having that much fun because the weather is crappy, but it's supposed to get better tomorrow. Anyway, so I'm going to see if I can get to the next street. Knapp Street, I think she said, hang a left. And there's supposed to be another admissions gate there. So I need a wristband. I don't know how I just walked in because I'm actually on the grounds right now. There's the tower. different tents and product where you see the products uh, displayed forums different things like that so I'm definitely in the thick of it here so and I don't have a wristband anyway I'm gonna keep hiking this direction see what I see see if I can get to the end of the runway uh, and my buddy's coming later today I was thinking I would just get my wristband and try to get him set up with a wristband at the same time. But if I have to get a wristband now, I will. But if I don't have to, I think I'll skip it until he's here. All right. All right, here's Knapp Street. Again, I mean, I'm in the middle of the grounds here, so I don't know how I, how you don't need a wristband to be here. So there's Knapp Street. And the lady said that there's another admissions gate down here. This is toward the north end of 3-6. So I'm going to head down that way. And if I have to get a wristband, I will. Otherwise, I'll just keep walking to 2-7 toward the west end. Yeah, so the drizzle has picked up. And it's a little bit nasty. So a few of us have just got the same brilliant idea of coming into one of the forum tents. Nothing's going on today. No forums or anything yet because Air Venture doesn't start till tomorrow. So the place is empty. So we're under this big tent. Just to stay out of the drizzle. And it's supposed to clear up pretty soon, so I'm just gonna wait here for a few minutes and hope the weather clears.
Oshkosh Arrival Information Hotel, 1453 Weather, Wind 010 at 14, Visibility 4, Mist, Ceiling 600 Overcast, Temperature 19 or 2.18, Altimeter 299 or 7. RNAV and VOR runway 36 approaching use. Landing runways 27 and 36. Whitman Regional Airport is IFR. Special BFR operations are not authorized. Advise on initial contact UF Hotel. Oshkosh Arrival Information Hotel 1453 Weather. Wind 010 at 14. Visibility 4. Mist. Ceiling 600 overcast. Temperature 19 or 2.18. Altimeter 299 or 7. RNAV and VOR runway 36 approaching use. Landing runways 27 and 36. Whitman Regional Airport is IFR. Special BFR operations are not authorized. Advise on initial contact UF Hotel. Oshkosh Arrival Information Hotel 1453 Weather. Wind 010 at 14. Visibility 4. Mist. Ceiling 600 overcast. Temperature 19 or 2.18. Altimeter 299 or 7. RNAV and VOR runway 36 approaching use. Landing runways 27 and 36. Whitman Regional Airport is IFR. Special BFR operations are not authorized. Advise on initial contact UF Hotel. Oshkosh Arrival Information Hotel 1453 Weather. Wind 010 at 14. Visibility 4. Mist. Ceiling 600 overcast. Temperature 19 or 2.18. Altimeter 299 or 7. RNAV and VOR runway 36 approaching use. Landing runways 27 and 36. Whitman Regional Airport is IFR. Special BFR operations are not authorized. Advise on initial contact UF Hotel. Oshkosh Arrival Information Hotel 1453 Weather. Wind 010 at 14. Visibility 4. Mist. Ceiling 600 overcast. Temperature 19 or 2.18. Altimeter 299 or 7. RNAV and VOR runway 36 approaching use. Landing runways 27 and 36. Whitman Regional Airport is IFR. Special BFR operations are not authorized. Advise on initial contact UF Hotel.